Hello everyone, my name is Rick, and today we will be talking about the arm score coil gun. Now this weapon is one of my favorites to use in all of Gunner's arsenal. It is able to handle both single target, crowds, and piercing abilities. And it's one of my most preferred out of the three it has for its secondary. Now, the main things I'd like to try and cover, and I'll do this as we load into the mission and play throughout the mission, uh, it's damage, it's crowd control, and it's piercing ability. Now, I'm going to show you the way I like to build it, and you can build it any way you want to. This is just the way I prefer it. I prefer more damage on the first one. I prefer a bit more reload, just because the gun does have a bit of a harsh reload on it. Stun, so, so the enemies can stay within the radius of the, um, what do you call it, the trail that's left behind when you shoot it. Now, I prefer Shockwave because most times when I'm trying to get more crowd control damage, I'm usually pretty close to the enemy, mostly a big target. And I'll be taking the electric, electric trail too. Oh, also, I made a mistake. I want to take the ammo on tier 1. I prefer the most amount of ammo because the gun itself does plenty of damage in my opinion. Now, the overclock I will be bringing is the Ultra Magnetic Coils. This is just a nice passive upgrade and... No matter what, it'll be nice to have. Now, I'll be taking this along with the minigun with a little more oomph. This will just be just about everything. The minigun will cover every basis. And so are the coil gun. And now we're going to go ahead and hop into the mission. I have Red Rock Blaster activated. We'll be doing an egg hunt. Because I want to try my best to show it in combat, so to say. Now, the best way to get a lot of enemies out is with an egg hunt. Now... The main thing I could say is this gun is good in every category, but it's also bad in some others as well. Its damage is very good against single targets and crowds, but I feel like it's mostly used for crowd control. Now, using it against Dreadnoughts is a bit different in my opinion. I don't think it's the strongest. I really think the Bulldog and the Burst Pistol might outweigh it a lot more. But for every other mission, I think it's more versatile than those. The ability to... Go up to a big enemy and shoot through it and damage all the other small targets in the way is my way of playing with it. Not everyone has the same, you know, play style, but that's the way I like to use it. This gun is extremely good for crowd control, even without any heavy overclocks. And the I feel like the greatest asset for it is its ability to pierce all targets. And even with the mole, you'll be able to shoot through walls. I think we have a detonator off the start. Main thing you might see, like even in my other videos, is just using it for the radius effect. The trail is amazing. I'm going to even shoot it at an enemy just to clear the enemies near me. But where I find this gun lacking in the most category is just the ability to do a lot of single target. It can do, just with its standard damage, it does 130. That's not nothing to look over at. That's extremely good for just one shot. But it's not the greatest. Ooh, there's a shell back here. There we go. Now, I do say Bosco is helping me quite a bit here. Especially with these small enemies. The main reason I think the Cola Gun tops the others is just its ability to work in almost every scenario. Even if you're going against a Dreadnought, it does do a hefty amount of damage. And dealing with crowds is amazing. Getting that perfect lineup and hitting all the grunts or using a big enemy just to circle around and shooting is so versatile. And that said, I do believe it is my favorite out of Gunner's secondaries, but the other ones I do like very much.
And we are playing on Hazard 5 to get the best look at this. I'm no expert at this, though. Now, for its radius effect, I take stun. Because, in my opinion, it's better than the fear effect. I want the enemies to stay within the zone as much as possible rather than leave it. So, stunning him gives you the best chance of doing so. It, but that's just my opinion. You can use it however you want. There's a detonator in here, isn't there? I see the bunny. This right here pays for my drinks. Like right here, I'm gonna try and line them up. This tunnel's perfect for it. Even if you don't get the most value out of the shot, the radius effect will help you. Like that. The ability to pierce the oppressor and still hit the warden. It's the main thing I like about this gun is its ability to pierce. Because the other two guns don't really don't really get that as much. Bulldog is able to, ro ro what do you call it, ricochet. That's what I'm looking for. But it's not able to pierce targets as heavily as the Cola gun is able to. There's no limit on the enemies a Cola gun can pierce. It's only limit is if you hit a wall or an object. But that limit gets taken away if you use the if you use the mole overclock. You'll be able to shoot through walls and enemies. Where is that damn you? Time. Now this weapon can be played in any way. You can bring any overclock. Like the one I'm using, that's just a nice clean overclock for it. The weapon can stand on its own, and that's the main reason I like it so much. Now, all the weapons do it, but I feel like this one suits my playstyle best. Along with the minigun. Now, I think the main downfall of the coal gun is it doesn't specialize in all categories. It's able to do a bit of all of them, but it doesn't master all of them. We got a crisis detonator in here too. I haven't actually done much in this mission so far. I've just been in the spawn room. I'm gonna deal with that menace in a second. I got, I got really lucky on this mission. A golden loot bug and a crisis detonator. Menace just got lucky there. Now, I'm hoping to spawn in a swarm with this. Bunnies nearby. Oh, 
Ooh, this is a good example. Okay, I'm just getting tossed around right now. But this tunnel suits the weapon perfectly. I took a big risk going into that tunnel and it somewhat paid out. I'm trying not to blow up the mushrooms. I'm too close to them. Right there. That was a perfect shot. I guess I did get what I want a big swarm. Now, I'm not going to mine any of the gold. It takes too long. This is just hopefully, it was going to be a short video for now maybe in the future i will do longer ones once i get a bit better at this thing yeah. hey there's a first time for everything i need the mule right here right now eh boss we can get that one get to work. if we discover a new mineral you think we get some mitts but hopefully seeing the way I play with it might encourage others. Here we go. I haven't seen too many people using it, and I think it's an extremely good weapon no matter what. Honestly, regardless of what build you do with it. Now the charge up, though, will take some getting used to for most people. And it's reload. That's why I prefer to take the reload on Tier 2. Because without it, it feels... A bit too slow sometimes if you forget to reload it now that's not a big deal if you take uh born ready let's say born ready or born survivor one of those i think it's born ready Okay, I'm not too worried about Nitra. Move your tin ass over here and hurry, please. And maybe in the future I will cover more of this. I don't know what else there is much to talk about. Maybe I'll make more videos on the other overclocks that benefit this weapon. I was just hoping to show it out and play with it a little. I'm just gonna have to tank it. He caught me at a bad time. Okay, that is one perk of doing that trick. Is it lets you it lets you stay on the zip line regardless of being hit or not. Ooh, and that shot was satisfying as well. I'll tell you, not many other weapons in this game gives you that satisfaction of hitting that many enemies at once. I backed myself into a corner. Well, 
Ooh, that's one video I'll probably do in the future is covering perks. I am a really big fan of using Berserker. Because just like you saw there, Berserker got me out of taking a lot more damage than I should have. I'll fight this wave. My normal active perks, I almost always, for all characters, like to use Berserker and See You in Hell. I think those are a great combination. I know this video is supposed to be about the coal gun, but I, I, I can't help myself. I like using See You in Hell for the ability to, one, kill the enemies that killed me. And it helps your teammates. And with most of my characters, I often usually like to kill straggler grunts with melee, and it's nice to have that damage bonus when they hit me. Even these floaters will count towards uh, the see you in hell bonus. Or I should say procking. This warden is a very inconvenient thing right now. Now one thing that'd be nice to talk about is positioning. The coal gun will not get value if it's positioned badly, I should say. Because the coal gun's value comes from where you're shooting it. Now, most times you might see me just shoot it blindly, and that is true. Usually, most times when I shoot the coal gun, it's either to pick something off from afar or get rid of the small guys near me. The area of effect from the trail is so useful for that. Shoot it and walk into it, and you'll be able to clear all the enemies near you. But most times you can't always get the most value. Even if you can't, I like to use the trail because the trail itself gives you so much value versus just the shot itself. The shot by itself. Because even though you may not hit the shot, the trail the trail gives you so much potential. Now combine this with the Hellfire Overclock. And the electricity and fire clears through hordes like it's nothing. Oh, I forgot to kill the bunny. It'll be fine. This mission went pretty smooth. Alright. I guess this will be the end of the video. Sorry if this was lackluster in a way. This is my first time doing this. But thank you for anyone who's watched this or who will watch this. If you like this or would like to support me in the future, please like and subscribe. I will hopefully be covering more weapons and talking about them a bit more. I don't know how in depth, but I thought the coal gun would be a nice start. When the coal gun is my favorite to use almost in any mission. But I'll see you guys in the future. Go check out my other videos if you would like the content. And everyone, please have a good day.